Our uh, task is to find the center of mass of a thin plate covering the region bounded above by the parabola y equals 4 minus x squared and below by the x-axis. Assume the density of the plate at the point x, y is delta equals 2x squared which is twice the square of the distance from the point to the y-axis. So the farther the point is from the y-axis in either direction, the larger the density. So our first task is to uh, identify the center of mass of the strip. And so we've drawn a strip and we've placed a dot in the center and that is the center of mass of the strip and it has the coordinates x tilde y tilde and now in general the location of that point is well how far is it from the y-axis it's x units away from the y-axis and what's the uh, distance of that center of mass from the x-axis? Well, it's 4 minus x squared divided by 2. It's half the y value. So our next step is to identify the length of the strip. And the length of the strip is 4 minus x squared. The width of the strip is dx. The area of the strip is length times width, 4 minus x squared dx. And the mass of the strip is equal to the density times the area, which equals 2x squared times 4 minus x squared dx. Well, we have the equation for the mass of uh, the strip. Now we'll uh, find the mass of the entire plate. So mass equals the integral of the uh, mass of the strip, which equals uh, 2 times the integral from negative 2 to 2 of, and I'll multiply through by x squared, 4x squared minus x to the fourth dx. And when we carry out that integral, we get 2, 5, 6 over 15. So the mass of the entire plate equals 256 over 15. Now we'll find the moment about the x-axis which equals the integral of y tilde times the uh, mass of the strip. And so that equals 2 times the integral from negative 2 to 2, negative 2 to 2, of x squared times 4 minus x squared times, and y tilde corresponds to 4 minus x squared all over 2, so I'll divide by 2 here, and we have another factor of 4 minus x squared dx, the 2's divide out, 
and this equals the integral from negative 2 to 2 of, excuse me, this should be an x squared here, of x squared times 4 minus x squared squared dx. And this equals 2048 divided by 105. So our moment about the x-axis is equal to 2048 divided by 105. What remains is to find the uh, moment <clears throat> about the y-axis and that equals the integral of x tilde times the mass of the strip, which equals uh, 2 times the integral from negative 2 to 2 of and x, which is rep, uh, the uh, corresponds to x tilde, x times x squared, x, x squared times 4 minus x squared dx. And we'll multiply through by x times x squared, which is x cubed. and we get 4x cubed minus x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth dx. Well, as we can see, <clears throat> this is an integral from negative 2 to 2 of two terms, each of which is odd. In other words, this is an odd function for x cubed. x to the fifth is an odd function, so the sum of these odd functions is an odd function. And when you evaluate that from negative a to a, or negative 2 to 2, what you get is 0. Now you can go ahead and actually integrate this, and what you're going to get is 0. So the moment about the y-axis is 0. To conclude, we know that the x-coordinate of the center of mass equals m, the moment about the y-axis over the mass, and the y-coordinate of the center of mass equals the moment about the x-axis divided by the mass. Well, this uh, value, x bar, the x coordinate of the center of mass is zero because the moment about the y axis is zero. The uh, y coordinate of the center of mass equals the quotient of 2048 divided by 105, all divided by 256 over 15, and when that is simplified, the result is 8 sevenths. So our center of mass equals 0, 8 sevenths. And we are done.